Hello. So I recently had three hernias repaired. Uh, bilateral iguana, inguinal, <laughs> and uh, umbilical. So that's one on each side of my groin and one inside my belly button hole. Uh, I spent 22 years in the army and during that time I picked up a lot of heavy stuff. From gear, to women, to weights. Women. And when I was in 2018, when I was doing my uh, retirement, I was going through my, my medical exams, and the doctor pointed out that I had a small, tiny little uh, umbilical hernia, and it's about the size of an eraser head. And he said, if it doesn't bother you, then there's no reason to get it fixed. After I retired, through an incidental finding, through uh, an accident that I had, um, I found out that I had the bilateral inguinal hernia. And this was in Florida, and at the time, the doctor said they were so small that unless they were bothering me, just like the umbilical hernia, that there was no reason to get them fixed. However, eventually they would have to be fixed through surgery, because that's the only way to, to repair hernias. And she also said that if I got them repaired now, since they're small enough, the recovery and the pain would, would be minimal. So, once we moved to the Windy City, I met with another doctor and he's like, yeah, we'll fix them. No big deal. They're small. Procedure uh, on, the, on a Friday, 17 December. We're going to the hospital now. From the time we were, we took the Uber to the doctor's office to check in, I was sitting there and thinking, how the hell can I get out of this? What can I tell the doctor that I don't want to get my surgery today? <laughs> oh yeah, and then when they took me back, back into the, the prep room, I was still thinking, I even told the wife, I don't want to get this done, I want to leave. But they had already taken my clothes and I was wearing this damn hospital gown so I couldn't walk down city streets of Chicago home in a nightgown. And then we met with the doctor and he's like, oh yeah, simple procedure, blah, blah, blah. You'll be in and out in no time. One thing Jenny asked me, she said, where do I meet you at? And I told her the morgue. <laughs> she didn't think that was funny. Uh, no, not funny. And I, and remember I told you to cancel it. Because I'm scared that, he, that you will not gonna wake up. I kept telling her, bye, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> so after they, they wheeled me away, they, uh, they put me on the, they took me into the operating room and they put a oxygen mask over me and told me to just breathe, we're giving you oxygen. I remember taking three deep breaths and then I was out. And then, Me? my wife went and enjoyed herself. Because <laughs> I'm hungry, I went to the, the Japanese restaurant. Because <laughs> it's already two, two o'clock, yeah. And we haven't eaten, yeah, this, since morning. No breakfast, lunch, so I'm really, really hungry. And the doctor told me to, that you go eat and have some coffee but I eat fast it's fine <laughs> I just like give her a hard time <laughs> and I receive uh, texts from the, the nurses that they started the operation and he's doing well something like that so that's good so once they brought me back uh, into the recovery room after I started waking up, it was I was like a, a a mad drunk coming out of my whatever it is. It's because it's it's like you're paralyzed, so you don't really it, you're under anesthesia, so you don't dream because you're not asleep. You're you're knocked out. So it's it's a narcotic. So it was like coming out of a 
a bad, drunken state. I think I was being a little ornery in the, with the nurses. Uh, but once I was waking up, it was hard to stay awake. I kept trying to doze off. And then I had to... You had to be... I had to eat ice chips and drink water. And then before they let me go home, I had to pee. So Took his I was hopped up on all kinds of pain pills and narcotics. Uh, so I really wasn't feeling any pain. I was feeling pretty damn good. So pain really wasn't an issue. Walking eh, slowly just because I knew I had stitches. But I wasn't feeling any pain down there. And then once I got home that night, I was tired because I didn't sleep the night before so that I would sleep the next day. So that night I slept. Actually, I passed out in front of my computer trying to play a video game. I never made it. And then the next day... Uh, That's when you feel the pain? I, I started feeling the pain, but the pain I was feeling was in my bowels. Because of all the narcotics they gave me, it makes you constipated. And I hadn't pooped since Thursday morning. But I did take uh, Metamucil prior to going into surgery, uh, before I left the house. If I could, if I have one piece of advice for anybody, I would say start taking some uh, stool softener at least two days prior to the surgery. The most pain I've ever been in was this discomfort from being constipated, not being able to poop. It felt like an iceberg moving through my intestines. And there was nothing I could do about it. Just sit there and take it. Uh, I took the Metamucil. I took uh, you know, the Miralax, another stool softener. And as three days had passed since my surgery, so that's four days of not pooping. And I was in enormous amounts of pain. And the doctor said he didn't want me taking uh, milk and magnesia. I don't. He didn't explain. He didn't tell me why. He just said not to take it. So on the fifth day, I called his. Do I called the doctor's office and told him I can't poop. And they're like, "Well, you need to take uh, milk and magnesia." I said, "Fine." So I sent the wife on a quest to go get milk and magnesia. And she brought it back, I took a dose, nothing happened. Six hours later, took another dose, nothing happened. And I was still in excruciating pain. And I wasn't taking any of the pain pills that they gave me because they're narcotics and they would cause even more constipation. So that night, probably around 11 o'clock, I felt it. And you can't push. There's no pushing allowed or else you'll blow those patches out. And then you have to go back in for surgery. So I did not push nothing. So I went and sat on the toilet in pooping position and slid out like a snake. Oh, it was glorious. And so I felt gas pass out and then I felt poop. And then the poop just slid out like a snake. Yay, he just pooped. <sighs> But there was so much in there and it was so compacted that I was still in pain for the next day. But the pressure had been gone, been relieved, so. So now there's not really much swelling going on down here. Well, my belly's swollen, but that's because I'm fat. My incisions, they're fine. Uh, I've taken a shower twice now and gotten them wet. Nothing. I gotta check up with the doctor in about two weeks. Uh, they start to itch, but uh, there's a little bit of pain down here, but I think it's because they stitched in the muscle to the to the mesh. That and the combination of my bowels is still kind of sore. So if I could say one thing is take the stool softener two days, maybe even three days prior to surgery and then keep taking the stool softener probably, I would say probably for a week because I'm still taking it and I'm still not passing a lot of stool.
walking's more painful than what the doctor said it was going to be. Every time I, I land on a foot, every time I take a step and land, that the vibration, the, the impact causes some discomfort. So, but they made it sound like because it was robotic surgery that it was going to be yes. done and done and gun. I'll be running right back to work. No, not so much. Maybe because the holes were were bigger than anticipated. Maybe I don't know. But I'm good. I'm recovering. I can watch TV and move around and play games. I went for a, a walk around Chicago earlier, about six blocks. It took me about 30 minutes. When normally it would take, probably take me five minutes. <laughs> oh, you don't want to sneeze, you don't want to laugh, and blowing your nose hurts. But the biggest thing is don't push down there. And don't pick up anything. I'm not picking up anything heavier than five pounds. That's what I got her for. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting better and you poop. That's the most important. That was the most uncomfortable, painful. Yeah, you, you uh, even get irritated that you can't poop. Yeah, constipation's <laughs> a serious thing. Stop recording me. It's third day. Stop recording me. Can't poop. <laughs> That's serious as a heart attack. <sighs> I wanted to die. I wanted to give up and just uh, tap out. <laughs> but they said the, the milk of magnesia would cause liquid poop. It didn't cause liquid poop in me. <laughs> poop came out in segments like caterpillars. <laughs> oh. All right, well, hope you've enjoyed my disgusting talk about poop and hernia surgery. <laughs> if you're going to have one, don't sweat it. It's not any big deal. If I can make it, anybody can make it. Yeah. Bye. Bye.